Hi guys, um, thought I'd shoot a little video, uh, explain a little bit what I do. Uh, this is a, a CNC mill that I built from uh, a converted uh, Grizzly mill. Uh, it was manually operated and I installed some ball screws and some stepper motors that I got from Automation Technologies. Built a few machines using their products before and mostly with Mach 3 enjoyed that, but decided for this build that I'd use uh, a different controller. I went with Maso. Um, they're still a fairly new controller. It's only been on the market a few years, but they're progressing very quickly. Uh, Product support's been terrific. Uh, interact with them, get answers within days, or within a day. And interaction on the forums is awesome. The other users help each other out. Uh, had a lot of Good uh, info there, mostly in the electronics area, which is not my strength. I'm more of a mechanical kind of guy. Um, controller is uh, controls uh, some stepper motor drivers, so the, the modern version that uh, that does the multi-stepping and, and smooths out the steps. So the motors are extremely quiet and never get hot. Um, use a Drusonics probe. Uh, I saw Andrew uh, came up with this probe and. Uh, Asked him if he'd uh, consider converting it because so you can see my tooling, it's all TTS tooling. And uh, I've modified my mill to have a automatic tool changer um, that you simply press a button and the tools release. Uh, it's very, very efficient. I plan to add on to this and turn it into a, a full automatic, automatic tool changer. And uh, this controller has four axes, but eventually I'm going to have five axes running. Um, I bought the other uh, drives, I just haven't hooked them up yet. Um, but essentially, um, you know, I took on this, this challenge to come up with a machine that uh, performs well and, and gives me a, a better understanding of machining and a better understanding of uh, the effects of uh, machines on metal and the effects of, of temperature and effects on just basically the physics of the whole thing. And, so I can relate a little bit to the science uh, behind it. And uh, I study the old ways, I study the new ways. I've programmed G-code since the uh, uh, late 80s. Uh, so I've, I have a good understanding of G-code. Um, uh, grew up uh, manual drafting and, and doing hand calculations uh, for uh, mechanical engineering uh, most of my career. And, uh, now we do everything by computer, and, and this is logical for me. It fits into what I do. I use it mainly to build trinkets for a family or, or, or tools or, or things that I need around the house. Um, it's excessive, but it's a hobby. And it keeps me busy and makes me happy. Uh, I enjoy it. Um, so far, my experience with Maso has been pretty good. There's some drawbacks. It's a fairly new product, so there's some development going on. And, some of the features are not there yet, but boy, they're, when they add them, they do a really good job of it. Um, the product uh, support, I'm testing out right now the new probing function, and uh, it's a uh, pretty neat little menu, and it's basically uh, gonna help me set up my parts when I do pro uh, machining. I contributed quite a bit to that, and it feels good to be part of that. Uh, that's the fun part about Maso. That's some of the other programs, you know, you're dealing with a large corporation that really doesn't have, care much about what you have to say and what you're interested in selling something to you. But in, in the end, uh, I think it's a good product. Um, it's working well. Anti-backlash has been a terrific asset. Be able to dial in parts, make some beautiful parts uh, that are machined uh, very precisely and enjoy that very much um, you know I enjoy the whole process of designing something and, and programming and then machining it uh, all in the space of a few hours and uh, I think that that's just a ter terrific uh, asset to have even, even if it's just for my home in any case uh, ranted for a bit here I think that this is um, uh, something to check out if you're interested in getting a, a controller really take a look at so I think it's pretty decent. We've got very good products. Their hand controller is awesome. Uh, yeah, 
interface is quite easy. We've got F keys for everything. Uh, it's it's uh, quite neat. Uh, and uh, you can see that uh, it's something that's a good product and it's going to get better in the future. Uh, so that's my little bit. And I want to thank everybody at uh, NASA for all their help and uh, helping me get to this point. I think this is awesome. And uh, it's uh, very stable and I'm enjoying it. All right, thank you.